Hi guys, welcome back to LPB Racing for the Manufacturer Series on GT Sport. This is round six, race three now in the Nissan Schulz Motorsport GT3 car. Let's take you through the grid order then. So it is Callum on pole position with maximum ballast, 200 kilos on. Biz to second with 160 kilos on. Techno third with 120 kilos added. TY in fourth with 80 kilos plus. And then fifth is Neil Farmack with 40 kilos added on. And the first of the non of the non weight runners is Gummy Bear in sixth. Firepower seventh. Alien is in eighth place. Then it's Seek in ninth. Rod is in 10th and stack it in 11th. Let's get ready for the start of this race then, guys. As we get ready for the start, watch the bridge where the lights are. That's where the lights will start to come on as everyone holds the brakes. Lights come on. And it's lights out, green light, and we are off. And plenty of wheel spin from some people at the front, I think. Some people didn't get a particularly good run there. Apologies guys, let's put the racing form, that helps as we go down towards the first corner, it's Bizter that's gone backwards. Bizter's gone backwards, he's all the way down to 8th, Neil Farman goes wide, Gummy Bear up the inside. Alien looking for a way through, Bizter's back to 7th. Awful start for Bizter there as we go down to the first section then. Techno takes the lead, TY 2nd. Everyone else trying to be like 5th or etc. Oh, 3 wide in the middle there as we go down through 160R there. Bidster back down the seventh end, TY challenging Techno for the lead then. Up the inside, can't quite make it stick in the yellow car. Callum trying to look at Alien there. Neil Farmack under attack from Bidster. As Bidster slides his car out and Rodders must be thinking, what the hell is my teammate up to? Sliding all over the place. But down here, the old TY's gone back down to third. Gummy Bear's on the outside in what we call the Humbug car, because it looks like a Humbug suite. But... Um, T1 in third, and then oh, back here we've got seat one, Rodders in seat, the Bidster all side by side, seat one on the inside of Bidster, Bidster going absolutely backwards here in this car, not enjoying this car, but Bidster up the inside into seventh, not over and done with yet, as Rodders pokes his nose up the inside of Seek, can't quite do it, as T.Y. tries to go around the outside of Gummy Bear in the distance, as Hobbsy Kalian gives him a bit of a push, as Gummy Bear gets on the power and massively loses control, hits T.Y., and T.Y.'s off, he's rejoining, and then Callum says thank you very much, straight through the middle. And Alien and Gummy Bear hold each other up then. And Neil Farmack comes through the middle as well. Brilliant stuff. Apologies if I uh, sound a bit uh, like I've got a bit of a French accent in this. Is that the uh, hay fever is really getting to me in this one as we go into the hairpin. As, oh, Gummy Bear runs really wide, based on the inside of seat one, I think. And Rodder's trying to get involved in there as well. The two team takeaway cars together in the background. Gummy Bear up the inside of Neo who gets budged out again. And those, I think we had a car go really wide there. Who was that? Was that Stacker? St 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 was it Stacker or was it someone else? Might be someone else. But look at this mid pack. The two team takeaway cars on the inside for the next corner now. Bist up the inside of Neil. Rodders up the inside of Seek. Both working together to try and get through the pack. Neil Farmack is in between them both. Gummy Bear's a bit further ahead with, with uh, Alien. Alien in fourth. As we look further back, Neil Farmack has a look at Bidster, but can't quite make a move done yet. Of the curb. I think uh, Firepower's got a good run here on seat, but backs out of it sensibly. Not quite alongside enough. Brilliant racing this, all the pack really close together as TY makes a mistake and Callum almost hits him as Alien tries to take advantage there. Callum up the inside, remember from the last race, Callum and Bidster on almost maximum weight here. So that's not going to help them out. As we go on to the straight then, Gummy Bear and Alien close together. Neil Farmax off in the background and then it all gets a bit close as we almost go four wide on the straight. Brilliant racing this. Down the straight we go, Rodders ahead, Neil, firepower, seek. All over the line at the same time, Stacker's getting involved as well, so all the top runners within about eight seconds of each other. Fantastic stuff. Into the first corner then. Seat one's on the inside with Neil. Break, break, break. Stacker's not going to break in time, I don't think. Is he going to... Oh, just about gets the car stopped. Very lucky to get through there. Everyone together. This is fantastic. I don't know where to look. As Bister's alongside coming around the Humbug car. As Callum then on the inside of Homesick Alien, who goes wide. Alien goes wide. And then Gummy Bear's right behind him. So it's Callum, Alien, Gummy Bear, and Bidster trying to get up the inside. Really get, trying to 
catch up to Callum here because he's battling Callum in the championship. Remember, there were one, there were four points apart coming into this into this uh, race. So Bista really needs to get the move on as Gummy Bear goes wide and Bista goes through. There's Callum then up the inside of Alien, but no, Alien fends him off for now. But does he go too wide? I think he does. Callum's back up the inside for the next one. Has he done it? Oh, Alien goes really, really wide and Callum goes through, so... Alien down a fourth, and now it's Bidster behind him as we look further back. We've got Neil Farmack and Seat 1 battling out as well. Neil, Neil trying to look up the inside of Seat 1. No way through there. Everyone really trying hard to tame this car, because it is quite a hard car to tame as Techno then. Hats off to him, still in the lead of this race. T.Y. in second. Alien on the move now because obviously remember Callum and Bidster have got maximum ballast here so that's not going to help them out in top end speed Gummy Bear's attacking Bidster as well Alien, Aliens through on Callum down to the next corner we go down to the first corner this is on the inside Gummy Bear tries to go around the long way round that's not going to work I don't think so go down the hill Gummy Bear still on the inside though, he's still fighting him on the inside. And I think he's got it, yes he has. Gets the position. Fends him off on the inside as well. Brilliant stuff as Techno then has lost the lead. TY takes the lead of the race. TY takes the lead, we missed that pass for the lead, we'll get a replay on that. Okay, here's a replay about TY took the lead, so it was a simple draft. Down the straight, there we pass Techno here. So drafting down the straight, gets the inside for the first corner, out breaks him, and is it's as simple as that. As we come back from that, then Alien in third on the move, Callum in fourth, Gummy Bear fifth, Biz to sixth, Rodder seventh, Firepower eighth, Seat one ninth, Stacker tenth, and Neil Farmer has gone all the way down to eleventh. Neil's been mugged. We'll get a replay on that as well. Okay, here's a replay. What happened to Neil Farmack for him to spin right to the back of the field then? He goes out of the first corner, hits the curb with the power on, and this, the back end just goes round, bang into the wall, hugs the guardrail, says hello to the marshals, and then eventually gets the car spun back round. As we come back from that then, back to the front. TY from Techno, 136.9, but runs really wide there. That's not going to help him. As Alien then closing in with Callum. Gummy Bear in tow. Bits to look on the inside of Gummy Bear here. Bits to look the inside. He's trying to put him off his line for the straight as well and get a draft from Callum. So good opportunistic driving there from Bits to go straight through. Meanwhile, in the background, we've got people rally crossing. Firepower rally crossing. Seat one's off into the wall. Seat one's off. Must have put too much power on on the, on the exit of the corner. So seat one goes all the way back down to 10 then. Apologies for the sniffles, guys but uh, trying my best as we go down to the first corner. And it's Bidster ahead of Gummy Bear. I thought we were going to have a bit more of a lunge there, but never mind as we're TY still ahead of Techno. As Techno does his personal best of the race that last time round. Alien is closing on these boys though. Alien, oh, taking as much track as he can possibly get away with there. So Alien, first race with us. We've known him for less than a week and he's really doing well here. He's uh, showing us all how to do it as he's closing on Techno now, so looks like Alien, a possible front runner in LPB racing. And it's good because we need a few people to spice it up a bit more. The more the, the more the merrier in my eyes. As we go down the hill, he's closing on Techno. The fastest sector there for Homesick and he goes up the inside. Homesick goes up the inside of Techno, but uh, can't quite make it stick. But he must be just trying to put him under a bit of pressure. So we don't know much about Alien's background. We know he's done a bit of sim racing in the past, but not uh, overly too much. As he goes to the inside, takes a cut back, gets on the power. Techno starts wagging his tail like a dog again, and Alien's going to just go straight past, straight past on the straight with the run, takes the position. Go down the straight then. Techno will get back in the draft. Try and close up a little bit if you can. Will he try and make a move on the inside? Will he go for it? No. Nope. Break sensibly. 
but Callum closes right up to the back of him as well, but Bidster's right around the back of Callum. Bidster will be hungry for points here. This is the battle for the championship with Bidster and Callum. They're a, a good couple of points apart here, so not much in it. So whatever happens, Bidston really needs to finish in front of Callum if he can. But we'll see how it goes. As, as, uh, Callum piles on the pressure, then Gummy Bear goes wide. Well, cuts back for a faster line out the corner. Callum goes to the inside of Techno here. Techno gives him space, but just about stays in front. Fran is in seventh. Firepower eighth. Seat ninth. Stacker in tenth with Neil Farmack trying to close up in the background after being uh, after that incident earlier. So T in the lead then. The yellow car doing very well. Yellow car, pink helmet. And, eight, and but he's being closed in by Homesick, so Homesick in second place, closing up. And then Techno from Callum, Bidster and Gummy Bear all together as a four. Techno goes a bit wider there, that could leave him open to attack from Callum, but again, Callum could be attacked by Bidster here, so you never know. As, oh yes he is, Bidster's having a nibble at the back end of Callum, but can't quite get through. Gummy Bear's going to think, ha ha, keep battling boys, I'll be able to get both of you in one go here, because you, I've got no, I've got, got any weight in my car compared to you. Go down the straight then. Gummy Bear goes to the inside of Callum. Will he try and get Bidster as well? Well, I've said that. Callum's in the draft of Bidster and able to keep it going. Bidster defends the inside to stop Gummy Bear from coming across. So clever stuff there from Bidster. Clever defence. Really good defensive tactics there from Bidster. He saw that Callum was going to be or not be able to get around the outside. So he moved to defend from Gummy Bear to stop him from passing both in one go. So good opportunistic, well good uh, sensible defending there from Bidster but that could be a penalty because that was a bit of a cut of the corner that but he might have got away with it because that was just about the limits he could get away with and he has so that was just on, on the ragged edge of adhesion there from Bidster pushing hard trying to gap Callum now trying to uh, catch up to Techno every position counts in this race as Rod is in 7th then from Firepower Firepower closing on Rod is a little bit there faster lap that last time round by 2 tenths of a second the third, Homesick is trying to close on TY, but look at this battle back here, Callum and Bizda really battling out here, Callum looking at the inside, Bizda moves across a little bit, no way Jose, not yet, as up to the top we go, over the top, Bizda slides the car out, so does Callum, and Gummy Bear waiting in the background in the Humbug car to try and catch up, on to the straight then this is going to be Gummy Bear's chance he's got a double toe here let's see what he can do if he can almost call it a triple toe with uh, Techno in front this is right behind Callum now almost pulling alongside Callum goes defensive to the inside but I think Gummy Bear's going to be across in time anyway yes he is he's in front Bizda looking at the inside of Techno then into the first corner Bizda goes up the inside of Techno Classic outbreak and manoeuvre and get straight past Techno, but Techno will try and fight back if he can, but I don't think he's going to be able to. Bista cheekily flashing the hazards there, saying thank you very much, sir. I am through into third place. Techno down to fourth, so Bista's now got two cars between him and Callum. That every position helps here. But obviously Callum on full ballast and Bista on second most, so 40 kilos between them, even though Callum's on 200, Bista's on 160. As Gummy Bear pulls a fantastic move on Techno there up the inside of 160R straight through so he's going to try to try and stay with Bizda now and that leaves Techno vulnerable to Callum behind so under attack then as we look at the leaders then Homesick has closed in on TY Homesick and TY so Homesick looking for his first win with LPB Racing already and it's only his first round with us in his third race brilliant stuff so 136.3 for Alien the last time round that is miles quicker than everyone else on track. That's about a good, what, almost a second quicker. So Alien really, really pulling the uh, the the car out the bag here. As Bizda then, <laughs> he's uh, well, he's been harassed by Gummy Bear. So try onto the straight then. Gummy Bear gets a good run. Oh, twitch, twitch, twitch. That's not going to help. But Gummy Bear will have the advantage on the top end speed. Bizda, there's no point defending here, Bids. You might as well just let Gummy Bear go and try and steer with him down the straight. As Callum then drafts Gummy Bear, as Bizda then pulls back in for the draft. We're going to watch for Callum here. 
As we go up the inside, Bistol then tries to go up the inside of Gummy Bear on the brakes. Oh, puts the car up the inside, Gummy Bear gives him space. Side by side out the corner, I think. Well, no, Gummy Bear just gets the drive, just keeps the corner. As TY now under pressure from Homesick in the other Nissan. So, Homesick really, really pressuring TY here. As Gummy Bear then in front of Bidster. So, Gummy Bear in front of Bidster now. Obviously, Bidster trying to attack back, but uh, he's got to watch Callum behind. Remember the last round, the next round after this, next week at Willow Springs in the Ford, in the Ford Mustangs, is going to be the last round of this championship. So, a very important bit of the season, this, regarding points. And you'll get an update of the points after this race, but into the Dunlop corner then, and out of it. Alien is right on the back of TY. TY's pulled out a 36.7 as well, so TY on the move as well. And go, help Alien that last time around a 36.2, so going even faster. Brilliant stuff. Will he look up the inside here, or will he try and get the draft on the straight? I think he's going to go for the draft. It was a bit wider though. There's this group back here still battling hard. Bister in fourth, slides the car out. Onto the straight. Techno will be able to close in a bit here because of the two weight shot cars in front of him. There's Rodders in seventh with firepower closing in behind there. So firepower on the move here against Rodders. As you look to the front end. Oh, oh, aliens in the lead! Aliens in the lead is side by side with TY. Obviously, he must have gone up the inside into that, into that next corner. Homesick Alien takes the lead of the race in LPB Racing. He leads the race. So, Alien takes the lead. We'll get a replay on how he got that position. Okay, here's a replay of how Alien took the lead of the race then. So, TY defends the inside. Alien goes to the outside. And he just passes him on pure straight line speed ability, I think, into the corner. And they break at the same time. TY has to give best. So, Alien takes the lead of the race around the outside. Well done. So as you come back from that then, Homesick Alien takes the lead from TY92 in second place. Gummy Bear is in third. Bidster is in fourth for now because he's got Callum and Techno all over his backside. Into the next corner. Defends the inside. Callum has a little twitch out to try and put Bidster off, but that does not put him off. Bidster a little penalty carry in there. He's got to get rid of that as well. So Callum tries to get up the inside, but no. Techno goes around the outside of Callum. Side by side down to the Dunlop. Battle of the Bravest on the brakes here. Callum's just ahead, so the corner should be his. And he does, he keeps the position for now. Techno has to give in, it's Bidster. Oh, on the curb. Really pushing hard here, pushing out all the stops to try and stick with Gummy Bear if he can. But Alien then in the lead, defending from TY now. So TY all over, all over the back of him. And Alien in the lead then as TY drifts the car out that last one and the TY carrying 80 kilos in this race so TY not, uh, not not fully light but still he's in the draft of Alien now he'll probably go for a move in a little bit as Gummy Bear there bids to Callum as that's all a bit more spread out here goes TY then for the lead of the race up the inside of Homesick Alien the inside he goes and takes the position TY does not give up lightly Alien you've got a good fight on your hands here TY does not give up One of the best in LPB racing is TY, and Alien proving that he wants to be one of the best. Right behind him, pressuring him all the way. Gummy Bear in quite a solid third in the Humbug car. And then Vista fourth, Callum fifth, T Techno in sixth. Rod is trying to catch up in seventh, but that's not going to help his cause by running wide. As Firepower picks up a two tenth penalty, as Rod has picks up a, a half second penalty. Meanwhile, for the lead then, Alien, will he look up the inside? No, he's going to stay behind for now, right behind him, pressuring him all the way. Brilliant standard to drive in here from Alien. Really showing his credentials in this group. Into the stadium section, into the last section then, not really a stadium section, because there isn't a stadium there, but into the last complex up over the kerb. TY drifts out a bit, will Alien go for the inside into the corner or wait for the straight? I think he's going to wait for the straight. Yeah, waiting for the straight as we look back at this battle back here then. Bister still keeping Callum back. Not able to catch Gummy Bear, so he's going to have to focus on trying to keep Callum back now. There we go. Out of the corner. Callum. Whoa. Very sketchy out that corner there as Alien and TY side by side for the lead then. 
Alien goes back through on the draft, moves across to defend the inside, so he's got good racing skills as well, it's not just fast driving, Alien looks like he's the full package here, so good job on him, really good. So again, uh, if, you want, if you're interested in doing what Home 6 doing and joining a clean racing group and uh, enjoying whooping their backsides, then please join LPB Racing, that's Lima Papa Bravo Racing on Facebook. And we're on YouTube as well, as you'll, as you'll have discovered by watching this video right now, that we are on YouTube as well. So please check us out, guys. We're a good bunch of guys. And uh, we've almost got a few championships that are full. We've got a few places on Project Cars 2. Probably got one or two places in this one. But, um, yeah, please join us, guys. We're always looking for more people. So even if you do join us and you pass the assessment, because you have to have a driving assessment to actually join with us, make sure you're clean enough and you've got good racing skills. It doesn't have to be Lewis Hamilton style as long as you're clean. Uh, then we'll put you on a waiting list for a championship and then once a slot opens up, we'll get you in there. So uh, please like and subscribe as well. Always helps us out. As we go back to Alien and TY then. TY right behind Alien at the corner then. Looking to try and get as close as you can because of the weight deficit. He'll be able to draft and pull alongside, but I'm not sure about passing. So penultimate lap is about to finish and we are about to go on to the last lap. TY versus Homesick Alien on the last lap of the race. I'm going to have to stick to either Homesick or Alien because saying the full name is just going to absolutely do my teeth in. But Homesick on the inside, then that's what we'll stick with. Homesick on the inside. Tate keeps the inside, TY looks for a cutback, does he get it? Yes he does, goes for the cutback, as, did I see a position change back there? Yes, Callum's up the inside of Binster for the championship, Callum's up the inside, championship battle resuming here, Binster versus Callum, Callum gets up the inside of Binster and schools him one, and Binster can't really do anything about it, Callum has to defend the inside, will Binster go for the cutback, we're just going to watch Alien and, T and TY through this section, they're all fine, TY looks up the inside, no way through, as you look back at Bidster and Callum then. Callum ahead, Bidster looking for a little gap up the inside maybe, on the grass. Really trying to get a position here. T Callum defends the inside, Bidster's gonna try and go all the way around the outside now. He's gonna try something, right around the outside. Gets the inside for going down the hill. Has he done this? He's alongside him, oh, above the curve, bang on that. Taylor looking to get through as well. Bist will be really wanting that to happen as Bister defends the inside then from Callum into the corner. Callum will go for the cutback. Bister can't defend in time. Callum goes back up the inside into the, into the complex for the last time. Brilliant racing. Quick switch to Homesick Alien and TY. Alien gets the inside for the corner. Bister and Callum. Oh, Bister's ahead. Callum drifts round, so Bister must have got round the outside of him there. Brilliant move. As we go on to the straight then, Homesick Alien in the, in the lead. With TY behind him, I don't believe it, I think he's going to do it. Homesick Alien wins his first race with LPB Racing. Well done, Homesick Alien, you win a race on LPB Racing. TY second, Gummy Bear a fantastic third. Bidstu is just going to hold off Callum for fourth. Very close, but yes, Bidstu from Callum, then Techno, what a finish. Rodders is ahead of Firepower, Seat 1, Neil Farmack. And then it's going to be Stacker, who's gone all the way back down to 11th place there. So, unlucky for Stacker. Neil finishes in 10th place there. Well done to him. And Stacker is going to round off the 11. Right, guys, we'll just get those results and points confirmed for you now, guys. Okay, guys, here's the results from that then. So, Homesick Alien takes his first win in only his third race with LPB Racing. Well done to Homesick Alien. TY in second, very close second. Gummy Bear takes third. Bidster in fourth. Callum in fifth, so that's important for the championship. Techno in sixth. Seventh is Rodders. Eighth is Firepower. Ninth is Seek One. And then Neil Farmack in tenth. And Stacker in eleventh. Fastest lap also goes to Homesick Alien, a 136.2. And now, guys, we move on to the points. It is three points for the lead. Bid's doing the lead on 344. Callum on 341, very close there. Neil on his own in third on 282. Techno, one point in front of TY on 224. And then Rodders in sixth on 209, one, uh, two points ahead of Seek, one. And in the teams, it is team takeaway, 553 points. And then team Rabble and team Smirnoff, very close on 509 and 506.
So we come back from all that then, and your winner is Homesick Alien in the black car there. Well done to him. He takes his first win with LPB Racing, so congratulations to him. But he'll be carrying full weight next time in the first race at Willow Springs in the Ford Mustang. So next round is the last round of the championship, guys. Championship battle really hotting up there, as you saw by the points. So we'll see you next time, guys. Take care.